Okay guys, so right now we are actually on our honeymoon, which is the reason why I haven't really been filming and vlogging because we're just enjoying it. We went to Paris first, now we're in Istanbul, Turkey. Next stop is where? Santorini. Vibes are amazing, but I still do have videos that I needed to post, including this one. So this video right here is basically gonna be the start of a new series where I go to different sneaker stores and I basically review them you guys have seen myself as well as other youtubers go to sneaker stores for almost two three years now going to different sneaker stores and showing what they got but nobody actually gives the honest review like is it worth it like there's been promo videos that's happened where people get paid to go to stores there's been videos of people who just go to stores because they just want to film stuff but i want to make a series where i actually go to stores legit shop and then i give you guys my honest review i'll give it an overall rating at the end of this video i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything just because these stores are giving me access to come into this store or anything like that like we need to be honest with you guys and i feel like a lot of the sneaker community including myself on youtube has kind of left some things out when we do film at these stores so i've actually filmed two episodes so far the first store of this whole series is going to be origins nyc now this is a new store i think they opened a few months ago they opened this year i believe so they're still up and coming before i give you guys the overall rating i got a flashback and give you guys my shopping experience there to start things off i want to say origins nyc was super 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 dope when it came to letting me film allowing me to come in their store and do this they said they were totally cool with me giving my honest opinion and just look around film get my content for you guys and this will be the first episode of the series of finding the best sneaker store in america or maybe even the world since i do travel so much anyway let's go ahead and get to the first episode ladies and gentlemen origins NYC is it the best sneaker store in the world let's find out Okay guys, so we are inside the store now. We're gonna take a look around. They let us come in here before the store opens, so we got this place to ourselves. Don't mind the AC unit, cause it's hot as hell outside, so we gotta stay cool. Let's just go ahead and start over here. A lot of sneaker stores, you know, obviously they have like Nike, Adidas, this and this and that, but the thing that's cool about this store is they have a lot of designer sneakers, and I feel like that's a little thing that separates them from other sneaker stores. Some of the stuff that I noticed is obviously the very popular Balenciaga, um what are these called damn i always forget speed, the speed no yes yeah, no no the triple yeah speed racers or something like that i love them i really like this 3m version actually is this my size because i really want these multiple sizes available it says that's a good thing multiple sizes available that's another note um when it goes to when it comes to sneaker stores one thing i love is a store that tells you the size and the price on the shoe like on a sticker or whatever it is. If I go to a sneaker store and that is not on the shoe and I have to ask, it's annoying. So it's dope that they have that here. This, I've never seen this. It says Europe on the side. I don't know if this is a Euro exclusive or what, but this one's actually pretty dope, but it's only a size seven. They got some Yeezy boots up here as well as Fear of God. I actually like these Yeezy boots, but me being a Cali boy, can't pull these off. This right here might be a option. Oh, also they got the, the chain reacts, but this is a definitely no go for me. I don't know. Comment down below if you think this is an L or a W. Now we get to my favorite section, Nike, Jordan, Adidas. Obviously the Yeezys, we got all the Yeezys. That's like probably you go to any sneaker store and they're gonna have the Yeezys, Yeezys these days. I don't need Yeezys. I think I have my fair share of Yeezys, so we're not gonna be worrying about those. This is what I like to see. When I go into a sneaker store, I like variety. I like old stuff. I don't want to see the same stuff every single time. That's why I like going to different sneaker stores is because it's the search. It's it's finding gems that you won't find at every store. Something like this. Now, I personally wouldn't wear these, but I like to just see them because I you don't see these every day. This is like, I don't know what year these came out with, but like, it's just dope to see these types of shoes. So basically with this store, one side is like all clothing, which we'll get to. We're going to stick to the sneakers right now size nine damn that would have been a good one i actually really really want these i want the white pair but the white pair is <laughs> hello 
price is too high. Another good thing about this store, they do sell used sneakers, which is something you can't get off of certain apps and stuff like that. Cool that you can come into the store, buy a pre-owned shoe, get it for a really great steal. So that's pretty dope. But yeah, let's move over, over here. Oh, I see them. I see them. Oh my God. 8.5. What an L. Man, this is one shoe that I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for these. Colorways on this is just absolutely amazing. I love this gradient pink to purple to gold. Put the gradient laces on here. Absolutely fire. Travis Scott's, LeBron's, Foams. This is one shoe that's been haunting me for years. I've always wanted it. I can never find my size. And when I do find my size, it's so expensive and I never, I, I mean, I don't wear foams like that. So pre-owned size 10, wow, 179. That's a freaking steal, bro. Like this shoe right here, we used to drool over this shoe. Like this was a grail. Like when Nike basketball was in its prime, this was the shoe, this whole pack, the Galaxy, Kobe, the KD, the LeBron. Oh my God, even the foam. Swag remembers, Harris remembers. We used to just want these so bad. And I remember I got a pair. I think I paid like 400 for them. And then I ended up selling them to swag i don't know if swag still has them in his collection but this is one of those shoes where it's just history bro this is just history and that price bro look at that price size 10 179 the thing about you shoes though i'm very picky i gotta smell them if they smell moving over here we got the yeezys we got all the 750s the 350s i've made three years worth of videos on those so i'm not going to talk about those and i think we covered all the shoes pretty much in the store Okay guys, so this section of the store is the vintage section. As you guys can see behind me, you got a whole bunch of jerseys. We got this old school Lakers Kobe number eight jersey, like LeBron Cavs jersey. Oh, clearance rack. Oh damn, you uh -huh. went there. Yeah, I had to do it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got like a whole bunch of USA Jordan jerseys. Pretty cool that they have like vintage and then they also have like high end and then they also have like streetwear. So there's options for everybody at this store. I'm personally not gonna be looking at this section so we're gonna move over over here to the section that I was telling you about which is like high-end there might be some Gucci there might be some fear of God off-white so uh, this is definitely a rack that I need to oh this would be sick for Berwadis first of all bro look at that you need to get it for him oh you have to get it for him I don't know if he'd wear this that's not like that his fits style him. yo hang it up Berwadis is the type to play basketball in this okay back to over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through half some of this stuff and then instead of going through all of it and showing you, I'm gonna pick out a few pieces that I like. Yeah, let's, let's see what they got. Yo guys, okay, so I'm searching through this whole rack. Like I literally went through this whole thing. There was a few pieces that I like. Box logo from last year. I was thinking about that. This one's going for about $1,000 size XL, my size. I also looked at... I have the pants to this, so I was thinking maybe of getting the t-shirt. This one's about 199 size XL. That's another one. But then something caught my eye that I have literally been looking for for so freaking long and I can never find it my size. And that is the Supreme Jordan hoodie. I either wanted the hoodie or the t-shirt and they have the hoodie size XL 699. Now that price, it's a little steep. You're going to think like, oh, for a hoodie, but that's how much it goes for. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to pay the price if you really, really want this. So this right here is definitely a cop for me. Like I need this, like this is a must. So this is, I need to get this, it's locked up right here. I'm gonna get it off. This is for sure coming home with me today. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I'm potentially interested in. Like I told you guys, the brown box logo right here, guaranteed cop, the Jordan Supreme hoodie, the Balenciagas right here with the 3M logos, the Travis Scott tee, the Bape tee, the black side bag, bam, right there, and then the black utility bag. Right off the bat, when I looked at this one, I already have this. This is the uh, NY exclusive one with the off-white Jordan 1s, not the Travis Scott 4s. I already have this, but I was looking at it for Mina, but this is like super small. So this is probably gonna be a pass. This was going for 300, but I'm gonna pass on it. I got mine for like 200, so I feel like this one could have been a better price. I need to try these on because this is a 42. Usually I'm a 43, and then this would be a big factor on what I get because I don't wanna spend 
more than two thousand dollars today so let's try these on we'll put these on foot over there let's go over here what do you have on feet right now yo those don't fit you guys these fit me bro those don't fit look yeah. didn't you see kanye's tweet what do you, you have to leave two an inch off the back heel that's how they used to do it in japan i bet you when he tweeted that out you were so happy you know what's the funny thing is like hella people already hit me up asking me for them they're like oh they're not your size let me cop them now everybody wants them, right? All of a sudden. All of a sudden. So this is a UK842. Oh, they fit perfect. Dude, these are so fire. That's drip right there. Okay, so let's total this up. Like I said, I'm not trying to spend over 2,000. So 700 for this, 250 for this. Gotta get my calculator, guys, huh? You didn't, go to, you didn't go to school. Yeah, you feel me? We're gonna pass on the box logo for now because it's not something I need. Yo, how much are these going for? Hello? 650. So right now, you're you, lying. There's lying. no way. You're it's lying. exactly $2,000. But here's the thing is, I don't... Should I get this? I think what I want to do is I kind of want to pass on this. And instead of this, get that that either the yellow duffel or the yellow backpack. I don't know what it is about that yellow, but that shit caught my eye. There's a red, black, and yellow. If I don't get this, then I could potentially get a backpack and a, and, and a duffel. Imagine if I wore the side bag and the backpack. That's what I'm saying. Again. And your Supreme Remote, what a vibe. Don't go to the hood with all red, man. This is called the McDonald's edition. Hey, that was my old job, G. The yellow one with the duffel, then it's like, oh crap, <laughs> Supreme Big Bird collab. <laughs> Looking like Big Bird right now. I, I support the yellow duffel. You more support the, the yellow more, duffel, not more the More than the yellow backpack, yeah. Throw so it up these there. are the no-go's right here. This is a no-go section right here. This is the go-go section. All right, let's go cop. Oh, L, what a L. All right guys, so as you guys can see, I did pick up a lot of heat from Origins. So to start things off, I'm impressed. Like I mentioned earlier, they are a newer store. So their inventory, it was great for just a few months. Like they had more stuff that I was interested in than some sneaker stores do that have been open for a couple years. So they definitely get some bonus points on that. I don't have specific categories and stuff that I want to go through, but I'm just gonna kind of break it down. Legit products, I didn't think I saw anything in that store that was questionable to me i'm not the best at legit checking sneakers but there was nothing in that store that i was kind of like uh, th is this real you know what i'm saying like there was nothing in the store that caught my eye so legitness of the store i would say everything was pretty much legit all the workers there knew what they were talking about when it came to sneakers and products and stuff like that so overall with the legit products i'd give them a thumbs up on that one customer service now the thing about when i film in the store compared to a regular customer you know they're always going to treat somebody who's filming a little bit better now no shots at them but that's just how it is at every single sneaker store. So when I was looking at other customers coming into the store, they were getting greeted, they were getting help. They were putting them before me, which was good because I'm somebody who's just making a YouTube video. These other people are out there actually, you know, trying to buy stuff. So they were helping out the other customers. So definitely another thumbs up right there. Overall, I had a great positive experience in this store. There's not too much bad things. There's probably nothing bad to say. The only thing that I would say was that at the back of the store, it was really empty. All the action was in the front of the store and the back of the store was kind of just like a couch and then plain walls and it was dead i were to go in there and throw my two cents in i would say throw in a playstation throw in something where people can hang out because me personally when i used to go to sneaker stores and i really couldn't afford anything what i liked most was the experience of just being there and being able to hang out and have that sneaker community friendly environment but again they are still new they're still you know stacking up their products i believe one of the store owners mentioned to me that they are going to be remodeling that whole back area but that's the only downside of the stores the back was completely empty with nothing really to see over there so that part of the store i give it a thumbs down but overall let me give you guys my rating on this store so with this series i'm gonna rate every store with a one star to a ten star and if this store was open for a few more years and that back area was completely filled with something that would interest me i would give it ten stars no doubt but because it's still up and coming because there's still a little bit of room to work with in that store it isn't a hundred percent complete i'm gonna have to let that hurt the overall rating i'm gonna give this store eight out of ten stars right now just eight but like i said in a, in a year or so when they fix that back area it's definitely gonna go to 10 my opinion on the store is if you are in new york city you need to go here if you are gonna visit stadium goods if you're gonna visit flight club if you're gonna visit round two you need to put origins nyc on that list like it is worth it and it is also this is very key and this is a reason why this store is getting eight stars it is in a great location it's right inside 
Soho. And if it is accessible, that is great for me because if I'm going to all these other stores in Soho, Origins NYC is right there on that list of stores I need to go to. So overall, eight out of 10 stars. This is a must visit store when you are in NYC. Great people, great customer service. I'm gonna link all their websites and social media down below. I really do appreciate them letting me come and start my series off in their store. If you guys want me to visit any stores cr across the whole world, go ahead and comment down below what stores you want me to come to, where they are located. There's a lot of stores that I haven't been to. This series is actually gonna take me to those stores. I want to visit every single store I can in America, whether it takes me a, a couple months, whether it takes me a year, however long. This series is for you guys so that when you go to these stores, you can watch these videos beforehand and think, hey, is it worth it to go? If you guys want more sneaker stores to be reviewed, if you guys wanna get my honest opinion and shopping experience at these stores, comment down below where you want me to come. Welcome to the greatest sneaker store series. This was episode one. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and I'm out of here. I gotta go enjoy my honeymoon, guys. We out.